So we've come out and found this mental place. Um, absolutely marvellous. It's like a ruins. I think it's called the Brickworks. I'm not sure. We'll have to find out. But um, brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant for photography. Some gnarly urban space with there's loads of graffiti and stuff. So we've uh, actually came on a bit of a recce um, to find out. We've never been here before. We just came to find out kind of what it's about, if we could find it to start with. Having found it, well, it's a mental place. So uh, we're going to spend a bit of time here and uh, see what we can see, what we can get some photos and see what we can find. It's just mental. I love ruined places like this. They're exciting, they're exciting find. Obviously, there's loads of kids been up here doing tons of graffiti, which is quite interesting as well. But yeah, it's kind of a scout around. Uh, it's definitely a brilliant place for uh, potential photo shoots with possibly clients and stuff like that. Um, great backdrop, so it's a good place to find. Things like this are great places to find, you know, just a, something interesting. Cool, so I'm just gonna have a bit of a wander around and uh, see what we can find. It's like, for photographers, places like this are just mental. What, you know, the great discoveries, because they're a super backdrop. And like I said, you know, coming up here to do sort of stylized shots for yourself, because um, the place is interesting, it's kind of derelict. In places like this, there's a juxtapose of like urban rock decay, and that kind of like, you know, discarded part of society, discarded elements of society. And here's nature taking over. You can see kind of like the tree sprouting in the, in the archway there. But it's just an absolute bonkers place. So I like it. Uh, love discovering places like this. It's just kind of exciting. And as I said earlier, absolutely, you start thinking about kind of doing client shoots and take, bringing clients out here and using this as a backdrop for all sorts of stuff, you know, maybe bringing some lighting down, doing shots at night or dusk, that golden hour, you know. Um, just brilliant. I love places like this, I really do. There's these old containers here behind me that look like um, old shipping containers just been dumped here and they've been graffitied up as well. Just love it, absolutely love it. Because I'm, me personally, been kind of into graffiti and that sort of urban culture for such a long time, right back when I was a kid and it first met the shores of Great Britain coming out of the Bronx and New York and places like that, you know. And I remember buying, I think it was called Subway Art, which is a book uh, produced by a photographer, I can't remember the name of right now, but I'll. I'll post it here somewhere. Yeah, I'll tell you about. I'll tell you about that book. I remember buying it and just being so excited about this new, this kind of new cultural phenomenon that had come from, you know, the shores of America and other ways. There's, there's other places that were doing graffiti as well. I'm sure there was, but, but, and it was it was exciting. And it's kind of graffiti is a bit like sort of commonplace now. It's kind of a, you see it in all cities all over the place. Uh, and I, but I love it, you know, this, I think there's a time and a place for it. I think some, this is my personal opinion. I think just tagging your name all over buildings, destroying, defacing buildings for the hell of it. I think that's probably not a good idea. But in places like this, that's just my personal opinion. But in places like this, you know, where buildings have been discarded by man left and kind of to rack and ruin, you know, and then young people, young and old come in and, and um, 
bring their talents with them, bring their artistic skills and do all these typographic scrawls and these amazing graffiti pieces of art all over the place. And I think it's, I, th I find it really interesting. I find it really cool. But I could put some, I don't know, puts a bit of colour on this old building. And you know, imagine what this old building was. I think it was a brickworks. We're going to have to find out. I'm not entirely sure. I think Graham said it was a, he thought it was an old brickworks. If you imagine like kind of the people that walked around here and that used to work here, um, you know, the comings and goings, what, what used to go on in this yard that was in front of me now and what sort of vehicles used to come in and, you know, del make deliveries and off they go, taking whatever away. And just like the people that must have worked here and this was their life, you know, they used to work here every day, come in every day and, you know, make a living, get a wage. And now it's just, it's become something else. It's become something entirely different. Marvellous. It's absolutely brilliant. It's really nice to explore. Good fun. Come on, 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 come on,